So I don't think it's a mystery that I am obsessed with cooking and food and all things food and all things cooking, right? Right? I have something uber exciting to share with you guys and I have been saving it so that I could do it with you and you have no idea how exciting this is for me because it has been incredibly difficult to not touch this thing that I'm about to touch so I can show you I'm touching it for the first time. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chantel of So Chantel, and today I am sharing something super exciting with you guys. I got some new cookware that I am uber excited about. It is Caraway, and we're going to open it together, unbox it, check it out, and I'm gonna tell you all the things. Oh, look at this. All right, so here is the first box, and she is sizable. So I feel like this is the lids and some of the other things. So let's uh, let's just pull these boxes out and then we'll open each one. So box one. Oh Jesus! I swear, if I get a cardboard cut, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh gosh. Oh, we have pots and pans. So here is what we are working with, you guys. This is the delicious peach set from Caraway. It is, uh, I think, technically a nine piece. Each one of these has a lid. There is also a holder uh, that holds all of these pots and pans, and I am uber excited. So let me take them out and show them to you, and we're going to uh, enjoy all the things. Okay, so first up we have the saucepan. So as you guys can see, this is like a nice peachy color with a gold handle. It is heavy, it feels so good. The bottom is silver, uh, it's like the stainless steel. It has the caraway stamp on the bottom, the print. And it is just, oh my gosh, I feel like if my grandma were here right now, she would highly approve of this set. It has so much weight to it. Like, it just feels very good, very solid throughout. You know, sometimes you pick up uh, pots and pans and they just feel so wispy. I'm like, what can I do with this? If I can't hurt someone with it, what is the point? So I don't know, I am, uh, I'm loving this. I am loving this. I could do a workout with this thing. Next up, we have the fry pan. This guy is equally as beautiful with the delicious peach color, the nice shiny gold handle with the caraway stamp at the end of the handle and also the caraway stamp on the base in the stainless steel. So it is just, it also feels like it has really good weight to it. Oh my gosh, I am just, I am obsessed, you guys, obsessed. It just feels so good, so solid. Oh my gosh, obsessed, obsessed. Next up is the saute pan. Look at how deep this pan is. I love that it has this extra handle here. So these are oven safe. I will double check the, uh, the highest temperature that you can use them at in the oven, but I love this. I do have a stainless steel saute pan like this that has the handle here on the end. So it makes it really easy when this bad boy is hot and heavy to be able to hold it on two different sides and get it in and out of the oven safely. I just, I am, I am just pleasantly surprised. This color is life. I am so obsessed with this peachy color. Let's get the next one. All right guys, so last but not least is the Dutch oven and I mean, her handles are so sturdy. Also, very just, these guys are thick. They are bringing it. They are Dominican goddesses is what they are. I mean, all around, it feels like the thickness is, it just continues from top to bottom, the sides everywhere. I love it, I love it so much. They are very sizable. I mean, look at this. Look at that, that's my hand. That is sizable. This is amazing. All right, let's see what else Caraway sent us. So here's a really cool thing that comes with your set of pots and pans is these pot and pan holders. So it's really cool. They are plastic, but they're like a thick, heavy duty plastic. And this one I believe houses, 
the fry pan. So let me show you how it sits. So you're supposed to line these up. There's one for every one. You line them up in your cabinet and you would put your pots and pans like so, and they would just sit like this in your cabinet. So you don't have to stack them. You don't have to try to get creative with the way you store them. So it's like a little, like little bookends, but for your pots and pans. What else did they send us? So here is a little box that says more goodies inside. Oh, this is perfect. So I, <laughs> I will tell you guys what I use. So they sent these uh, cork trivets. So this is perfect. When I take my pots and pans off the stove or I take them out of the oven, whatever it is that's in the oven, I usually get some kitchen towels or some oven gloves. I know, B laughs every time I do it. But I get that, I put it down on the counter and then I will take my pan, my pot, my whatever and I will put it on top so that I'm not just putting that scalding hot uh, pot or pan or cookie sheet or whatever it is like straight on the granite. So this is really cool. I've actually been thinking about getting some cardboard trivets. So Caraway took care of me and sent me two, which I am very grateful for. Next up, they have this little booklet that contains everything you need to know about your new cookware set. So this is cool. It gives you the, uh, what comes in your set, caring for your pots and pans, before first use, during cooking, after cooking, how to store your lids, about the lid holder, about the pan racks, which is this little guy that I showed you and called a bookend, notes, conversions chart, and customer service. So this is very cool for you to flip through and uh, I'll just flip through this later. So here's the last thing that we have and it is the lid holder and three lids. Let's take a look and see what these guys look like. Oh, they're so cute. Gone are the days of misplacing all of your lids. Um, I don't misplace my lids, but okay. Okay, girl. So this is a really heavy lid. Again, that beautiful glossy peachy color with the shiny gold handle. It is sturdy. This feels very comfortable. So I'm excited to see if this is going to have any heat transfer when your lid is on your pot. Is this gonna be hot or can I just grab it with my little mittens and pull it off? So time will tell, we will test this bad boy out. So this is the lid for the saucepan. And then we have the lid for what I assume is the Dutch oven. And then the lid for the saucepan. Let's see, that is perfection. So I wonder if this lid fits the fry pan. I think it does. Oh, it does. That's perfection. Okay. And also good to know, I was kind of looking at these and thinking, oh, the uh, handle is a pretty shiny gold, but why does it look funny? It looks funny because there's plastic on it. Duh. Oh my gosh. This set is so beautiful. I honestly feel like this is grandmother approved. My grandma would love this. She would love this. She would love it. I'm obsessed. I am so obsessed. And then Caraway provides this fancy dancy little uh, lid holder that you can put right in your cabinet. So you can put some nails in and hang it inside of your cabinet. I have an actual drawer where I keep all of my lids. So I will find something more creative to use this for uh, or not use it at all. I don't know, but um, I think it's really cool. If this is all you have, and I have a lot of pots and pans, okay? I have a whole lot of pots and pans. So if this is all you have, then it's a lot easier to store all of this and to utilize this little guy. I would not be able to use this in the cabinet where I have all of my pots and pans because the door is oddly shaped. Uh, I will show you what I mean. So uh, we'll have to get creative and figure out how to use this. I don't know, I don't know, time will tell. 
But anyway, guys, I am super excited. I am so happy that my set is finally here. I am going to uh, cook a little something right now, try it out. So before I do, I know that I need to wash some of these guys in some warm soapy water and get all of the uh, travel dust off of them. And then I'm going to hook up a meal, a test meal, if you will, and uh, see how these guys perform. So let's go do it. All right, you guys, so it is time to break out the chicken and get started. So we're using the large saute pan. This is what we are working with. This guy took a little bubble bath. He's all clean. So we're going to get him warmed up and we're gonna do the things. So I have some chicken thighs that I'm going to cook and they are right here. They've been marinating for a few days. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get them started here in the pan and then we're gonna put this in the oven and really test drive what she can do. So I'm going to just do all the things. I'm so excited. So uh, come on, warm up little baby and let's do this. All right, so we're about to put our olive oil in. So this has been preheating on warm, on medium rather, for uh, like a minute or so. It is recommended that you do not use very high heat with these uh, because it can wear away the nonstick coating on there and never use any kind of spray, like a nonstick spray. So butter and oil is okay, but just a little bit because these are nonstick. So I'm gonna go in with like a teaspoon or so of some olive oil. So ordinarily I would not crowd chicken in here. What I wanna do first is just brown it up and then I'm gonna put the whole thing in the oven. And because it's gonna go in the oven, I will overcrowd it just a little bit, but uh, not by too much. So here we go. So one of the things I will say, it looks like everything is cooking really evenly, which is so nice. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely, have had pots and pans in the past, and I think I even have some now that have like hot and cold spots. And it's really frustrating because things just don't cook at the same speed. So some things you'll notice have, you know, raw, pe raw parts and then other parts are nice and golden brown. And it is just annoying as all heck. So I love so far, it looks like everything is cooking really evenly, which I love so much. The other thing I notice is that I did touch the handles and the handles are, this one for sure is cool to the touch all the way through. Well, here at the base, it's a little bit warmer, but here there's like a little notch, a little knob or something underneath the handle here. So from there to the end, it is cool to the touch. This handle here is warm, but I can definitely hold onto it without issue. So I will, make sure that I am using uh, oven mitts when I take this little guy out and maybe even when I put him in because this one is starting to feel just a little bit warmer, but honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Very impressed. Just, I'm just the, I have no words. This cooking is just so even. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and slip this into the oven now and we're gonna get started on our coconut rice. Dutch oven, I think is what they call it. And it has two cups of washed rice already in it. So I already took care of washing the rice and it looks so dwarfed in there, look you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the burner where the chicken was. And in the frame right now, this pot looks small, but I promise you it is not. Like look at, I mean, that's a little bit of an overlap. Maybe this is better, but look at that. That is just, uh, this is the this is the real deal right here. Oh my God, you guys, this smells amazing. It looks amazing. This chicken just looks all kinds of juicy and delicious. And I will tell you, just going into the oven to get this out, I seriously feel like my lashes stuck together. <laughs> like it is so hot in there. So I'm gonna try to move you guys in closer so you can see and not create any shadows. But I just want you to see how nice and evenly cooked everything is. It just looks so good. I mean, look at that. That just looks. It is cooked to perfection. Look at that. I know I'm casting a big shadow right now and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But look at that all in one. So I started it on the stove in this pan, same pan, and this is their saute pan. 
And then after I browned it a little bit on the skin side, I turned it over and browned a little bit on the underside, which is the uh, the non-skin side, the skinless side, if you will. And then I put the whole thing in the oven at 400 degrees and let it cook for like 10 minutes. And oh my gosh, just look at that. Just look at that. So next up we have our coconut rice. So let's get that little baby opened up and show you guys what we're working with. So the handle is now warm. It is much warmer than it was before. So I would even say that you would need like a, a holder, a towel or something because your hand will get hot. So if you're just touching it for a few seconds, no big deal, but it does get hot. So I am going to uh, hold this little baby with a towel so I don't burn my paw. Oh my God, you guys look at this rice. Look at this rice. It is cooked to perfection. It is beautiful. There is no browning at the bottom. It just looks, some, some pots are just really, really thin, uh, especially in some areas, you know, so they're not even all the way through and they will have some spots that burn and some spots that just don't cook as fast. But this one looks completely even all around. This is just, I'm in love. I am in love. I'm in love. I'm in, in love. All right, guys, so it is time to do a taste test and see how everything cooked up in the new Caraway cookware set that I just got. So let's dig in and see. This cookware ruled the day. It is so nice to have cookware that is, it just feels sturdy. It doesn't feel flimsy, it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel like paper thin or like you're just cooking on a piece of aluminum foil. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. This stuff is sturdy. Just the lid right here, this baby has some weight. I'm gonna weigh all these guys and, uh, or maybe I can just find it online and I don't have to do all that extra work myself. But this feels so good and sturdy. I mean, this is just, I love it. I love the construction of it. I am concerned that this paint will start to chip off at some point, but uh, you know, more on that later. It's okay, we'll, we'll see how it holds up, but the color's beautiful. The construction is so incredible. I just, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, I'm liking it. So I realized that, you know, Caraway didn't come in here and uh, hook this meal up, but they did provide the vessel for me to do that. And this food is good. It is so good. I wish you guys were here to have some with me. I am uh, so far very impressed. I am loving the set. I love the color. I love the feel. I love the construction. I'm in love in case I didn't already say that. I am in love. So as of today, this very moment, I give this set a solid 10 out of 10. I am so in love. Now, I realize I have used two pots, one saute pan and the Dutch oven and exactly one lid and I have made one meal. So I have a long ways to go, but I promise you, I am going to test drive this baby all the live long day and I will bring you guys along for as much of that as I possibly can. These pieces, uh, they seem incredibly versatile and you can use them for so many different things. So I'm really excited to put them to the test and uh, see what kind of fun things we can make in the kitchen. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me and this video. I had a lot of fun. I am so happy to be back with you guys. You have no idea. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, you subscribe and you click that notification bell because all of that really does support my channel and it means the world to me. With that, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, week, weekend, month, year, and all the things. Love you guys.